Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Gumroad to sell digital products. Whether you're an artist, a musician, a small business owner, Gumroad offers a straightforward and transparent way to share and monetize your creations. So what can you sell on Gumroad? The possibilities are endless. When setting up your page on Gumroad, think of downloadable products as the main focus. You can offer apps, eBooks, videos, graphics, music, printables, and so much more. It's a haven for creators to share their digital creations and connect with their audience. But that's not all. Gumroad also allows you to list memberships and physical products, making it a versatile platform for those looking to sell handmade items or unique merchandise. It's a fantastic alternative to traditional marketplaces like Etsy, providing creators with more options to showcase their talents. So whether you're a seasoned creator looking to expand your reach or just starting your journey as a digital entrepreneur, this tutorial has got you covered. I'm here on the Gumroad site and let's just look at the pricing features. Unlike a lot of platforms, Gumroad doesn't charge you a monthly subscription free. They just take 10% of every single sale you make. So let's go ahead and start selling on Gumroad. Go to gumroad.com and in the top right hand corner, click on start selling. You now need to sign up. You can use either Facebook, Twitter, Stripe, or use an email account and then click create account. So this is your dashboard and you can see here, you can create your very first product by clicking create your first product. First of all, you'll need to name your product and then you'll have to select what type of product it is. You've got quite a few different things to choose from. Let's go for digital product. Then you're going to choose a price and you can also change the currency here as well. And then at the top, click next and you're going to be able to further customize your product. You can add a description in here and you can customize the URL of the product and then you can upload a cover image. So I'm just going to grab something from Unsplash, which is a stock image site. And you can see here on the right, it's going to show you a preview of how your product is going to look. Let me just add a quick description so you can see where that is in the preview. And then you've got a thumbnail that you can customize. That's just the image that appears in the Gumroad library, discovery and profile pages. You can then add your call to action. You've got three options to choose from. Buy this, I want this, or pay. Then you can add a summary of your item to tell your buyers exactly what they'll be getting. And then you can add some additional details if there's anything else you need to add. You can also integrate Circle and Discord so that people who purchase this item will automatically be invited to your Circle community or Discord server. Then down to pricing, it's got the price that you have already entered earlier, but you can also enable this option here, which allows customers to pay whatever they want. And you can add a suggested amount and a minimum amount. Next, you can add different variations of this product. So for example, if you wanted to add different formats like a PDF or a Word document, you can do that here. And then you've got a few settings down here. You can limit the product sales to make it a limited edition item. You can choose to show the quantity publicly. You can show the amount of sales. Generate a unique license key per sale, mark the product as an e-publication, or specify a refund policy. From the top bar, we're going to go to content, and here you can enter the content you want to sell. You can either type it directly into this page, or you can use this icon here to insert a file. Once you're happy with it, in the top right hand corner, click publish and continue. So it says you have to confirm your email address before you can publish. So head over to your email inbox and just quickly verify your email if you haven't done that already. Once you've done that, you can publish your product and you can now share it. You can share it to Twitter, Facebook or copy the URL. You've also got Gumroad Discovery. This is where Gumroad recommends your products to customers. So it's really helpful if you select a category that is relevant to your product that will help Gumroad promote it to the right people in the right place. There are hundreds of options to choose from, so you'll have to scroll through and find the one that is relevant to your product. You can also add some tags that will help your item get found in the search. Then you've got a few options you can enable or disable. You can display your product star rating. You can say whether this product is meant for adults only, and you can boost your product's visibility in the Gumroad recommendations. But by doing this, you have to set a higher fee. So rather than the standard 10% that Gumroad takes, you have to set it at 30% or higher. Finally, show this product on your Gumroad profile. 
you can enable or disable any of these options. Once you've done that in the top right hand corner, click Save Changes. Let's go back to the home page and we'll start working through this getting started list. So let's go to customize your profile. You can choose a username and that will change the URL of your profile. So it's going to be your username.gumroad.com. You can add your name, a bio, you can add a logo. You can also connect your Twitter account and you can customize your page by changing the fonts and the background and the highlight colors. As before, you've got the preview tab on the right hand side so you can see what it's going to look like. In this section underneath, you can choose which products are displayed. Obviously, we've only got one product at the moment, but by checking this box, it adds or removes it and you can change the default sort order of your products. Once you're happy with the changes you've made, go to the top right hand corner and click update settings. Let's head back to the home page and the next thing we're going to look at is get your first follower. This is going to take you to a page where you can manage all your followers. Now, we don't have any at the moment, but you can click get tips on growing your audience and that's going to take you to a page with some tips on how to get your first followers. Back to your to-do list and we're going to click on get your first payout. You're then going to have to set up your payment method. So select the country that you're in and you're going to have to check off this list, confirming that you have ID, you have proof of residency. And if you're a business that it is registered to the country above. And then when you've checked all them off, click save. And here you can add your payment method. If you're using a bank account, you can add all of your details here. Or on the right hand side, you can click Stripe and you can connect your Stripe account if you have one. You can see here as well, you can connect PayPal but you've got to set up credit card purchases before enabling pay with PayPal. Heading back to home, we're going to go to make your first sale, and this is going to take you to your analytics page, which you can also navigate to by using the sidebar on the left. And this is going to show you your sales, your views, and the total amount of money you've made. And then there's one more thing to do on our to-do list, which is send your first email blast. So let's do that by clicking new post. And we're going to need to customize this by writing a title and description. We've also got the option to attach a file down here. On the left hand side, you can choose your audience, which is currently set to everyone. You can choose whether to post it to your profile and whether or not to allow comments. At the top here, you can see a preview of this post. So you can see here it's got the title and description. And then you can either save it if you don't want to publish it yet, or you can click publish and then you can either publish it now or schedule it for later. But let's go ahead and publish that right now. And you can see that your published post is right here. And at the top here, you can also see your schedule posts, your drafts, and you've also got workflows. This is where you can automatically schedule updates for your customers at designated intervals after a purchase. So let's just really quickly look at that. So here's an example. When you get a new customer, they make a purchase. And then a day later, they receive an email. And then a week after that, they receive another email. Let's just quickly make a new workflow and call it new customer and click add and click add email. You've got no emails yet, so let's add one. Firstly, up here, you can change how long after they make purchase or follow that you send this email. So you can go by hours, days, weeks or months. So let's do one day after they make a purchase. And then again, you can write a title and description, attach a file, and then you can publish that. And you can see now that email will be sent to everyone a day after they make a purchase. And there you have it. We've reached the end of our Gumroad tutorial. I hope you found this guide helpful and insightful as you embark on your journey of selling digital products and connecting with your audience.